Hey Capricorn, Mariah here with Spiritually Honest Tarot. I'm gonna get go ahead and get into your mid-month uh, tarot reading for the month of May. I'm gonna do this a bit differently, and the reason why I'm doing this a bit differently is because in your pre-meditation, I heard the word drowning, and I still keep hearing the word drowning. I don't know why I'm getting this. Um, drowning can look so differently for many people, and it can come out in different forms. It doesn't have to be you're emotionally sad and you're drowning in your emotions, but you can be drowning in your circumstances, drowning in life. You can be drowning, you know, in your thoughts. But also, too, there's another side of it that's positive. Sometimes you can be drowning in love, right? You're just in a sea of love or positivity or these good emotions. You're just, you're deep in it. You're in the thick of it. That's there we go. That's what it really is. You're in the thick of something right now, Capricorn. And I don't know what it is. We're going to pull out the cards and see. But that's what it is. That's why I'm hearing drowning. You're in the thick of something right now. But it's a transformative period for you. It's a transformative moment for you. And you're in the thick of it. And it may feel like for some that you're drowning because you're in the thick of something. So we're going to see what's going on. Um, if you would like a private reading, I have all of the information below in the description box. I've been getting asked about that. So check out the description box for any private reading information. Uh, if you also want to make any donations to help the channel, just so that way I can keep improving the quality and the content, um, I have my uh, donation links below as well. So let's get started. You're in the thick of something, sweetheart. Male or, male or female, you're in the thick of something. Give me three cards. Thank you. Oh, shit. I feel it. I feel it. What do you need to release is the first card out. What do you need to release? When I tell you, Capricorn, you're in the thick of something, but it feels transformative. It's a transformative period for you. You may have another card, Spirit. I'm going to take all these. I am going to take this one, though. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. And that's actually what we're going through. I think yesterday was the new moon in Taurus or full moon. It's full moon or new moon. But I believe it was yesterday. So this new moon or full moon, whichever it is, it's definitely taking you through a transformative period. You're in the thick of it, sweetheart. You are in the thick of it. And this thick of it can look differently for some. <laughs> Fuck. Excuse my language. I'm, I'm so sorry. Excuse my language. We have the end of a tough cycle approaches, full moon in Capricorn. Bottom is a new start is coming. When I thank you, spirit guides, when I tell you my angels, my ancestors are always sharp when it comes to me and my intuition, when I'm feeling something, they don't let me down. You are in the thick of something, Capricorn. What is it that you need to release? So let's pull tarot on this, right? Because again, this can be in regards to love, in regards to career finances. I'm just going to pull the cards and we'll go from there. If it speaks about love, we'll pull love and look more into it. If it speaks about life purpose or just things in general, we'll go from there too. But there's something you, you, you're in the thick of and it feels uncomfortable. It feels very uncomfortable, but it feels turbulent. I don't, you're not used to this, not as an earth sign, unless you have a lot of fire or airing your chart or maybe some mutable signs, this is not a comfortable position for you right now. You're not in the, you're not in a comfortable position right now in life. Again, it can be in a love relationship and your finances and career, you know, your life path, your goals, whatever you see fit, whether it's with family, your children, your friends, something is very, the tides are turning, baby. Mm -hmm, that's what I'm hearing. Tides are turning. What does Capricorn need to release? The tower, first card out. If this is not being in the thick of it, Capricorn, I don't know what it is. I don't know what what else to put with that, you know? It's beyond your control at this point. Beyond your control. thing about Capricorns that I've noticed is that you guys are very steadfast, right? Even though Capricorns are a, way too many, are a cardinal sign, right? So you take action, you take the lead, Right? However, as an earth sign, change, unexpected change, is not really your forte. That's not your strong suit. You guys are methodical. You guys like to know. 
what's happening or what's occurring or what may be occurring. You like to have that foresight there. Universe said, uh-uh, no. Either you were moving too slow on changing something or something wasn't changing for you quick enough and the universe is bringing this down. That's why you're in the thick of it. That's that tower. Something's being released for you, whether you like it or not. Whether you like it or not. The world, a cycle that hasn't been closed out yet. Something has not been closed out. Something, and this is that release, something that's needing to be released. Let's get another card on what needs to be released here. The Empress. Okay, so this will go a couple of different ways for you guys. So for some people who are in a connection, in a relationship, whether it's male or female or, you know, switch roles, female, female, male, male, the Empress here coming up in reverse, there could be a wife you need to release. There could be a child's mother that you need to release, or it can be a child's father or husband. You can switch it. But there, there could be something in regards to that person in your life that you need to release that you've been having continuous cycles with that the connection has became turbulent, that's became, it has became destructive, it's became a pattern, there's been resistance to changing things, there could have, been, could have been things or things currently that are keeping you bind to this person, whether it's finances, kids, investments, properties, whatever that may look like. Despite whatever's keeping you to this person, this person needs to be released. And only you, Capricorn, knows why, right? We'll try to see some more information if this continues to lead us along the path of love. But there's something in regards to this that needs to be released. Now, if it's not a person, if you're not dealing with a husband, wife, or it could be a boyfriend, girlfriend situation, um, or, you know, your child's mother, the idea of not being able to have a new beginning in something, the idea of something just not working out or feeling like things are just not working out or things are just never getting off the ground or you're, you're not creating the abundance that you want despite wanting it so bad, it's a mindset. There's a paradigm shift that the universe is trying to bring in for you, Capricorn. Do not fight it. I know it's unexpected. I know it may be scary and I know it may be inconvenient as all fuck. <laughs> okay. I understand. <laughs> I get it. But there's a huge shift right now. This is a very important, very important moment in your life. A new start is coming. And then even right underneath that, we have luck is on your side. Luck is on your side, Capricorn. So the universe is trying to usher in a new wave, a new era for you. But what are you needing to release to allow that in? What are you still holding on to? Whether it's a person or whether it's the, the misconception of not being able to create the abundance or something new that you want, whether it's wanting that new relationship or wanting things in a current relationship to change or whether it's wanting your finances to improve. Because on the bottom of the deck, we now have the two of pentacles uh, upright, not knowing what to do, being hesitant on making a decision because you're juggling between this and that. Should I let it go? Should I not? Should I move on? Should I not? I want to move on. I feel like I should move on. All of the signs are saying to move on, but I'm still struggling to release it. This tower is forcing me to release it, whether you like it or not. Last prosperity lies ahead for my Capricorns. As prosperity lies ahead for my Capricorns. You're in the thick of it. I just keep feeling it. I keep feeling it, Capricorn. I can't shake this. I can't shake this. I just see somebody on the boat in the middle of the ocean on rocky waters. The waters are violent. And you're in a boat by yourself trying to steer the boat back to shore, but you're getting lost in the current. And it's almost like a hopeless feeling because you're trying to make it back to shore, but you can't and you feel like you can't despite wanting to so badly, despite how much effort, how much time you've tried to roll yourself back to shore and you're just not moving out the center of the ocean. And because you're not moving out the center of the ocean, despite how badly you want to, despite how much you try, the universe sees that and now they're going to clear the waters for you to push you to shore. That's when it's it's very uh, it's very poetic. It's very poetic. Why's prosperity lies ahead here for my Capricorns? Mid month. Why's prosperity lies ahead here for my Capricorns? Ooh, way too many. 
prosperity lies ahead here. Are you willing to release what you need to release, Capricorn? Despite how badly you want to, are you willing? Are you ready? Are you mentally prepared? Fully, not 98%, not 95%. You have to be 100%. Because it's easier if you can release it versus the tower coming in and releasing it for you. So if you haven't released whatever this is for you, do your best to release it. Because if the tower has to knock shit down for you, Capricorn, it's going to be brutal. And you don't want that. You don't want that. Take heed. Take heed with this message. And once you can release it, prosperity can come in. So let's let's continue to see. Knight of Swords. And one more card for prosperity. We got two. <laughs> Oh, my Capricorns, I love you so much. So we have the Page of Swords in reverse, the Knight of Swords in reverse. And then we have the Nine of Cups and the Judgment that came out sideways. So those are kind of things you're struggling with. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Pentacles in the upright, right? Needing to put the work into something, but it's not being done. But yet underneath that, we have the Temperance in reverse. There's a lack of patience. Wanting things to change, wanting things to transform. Whatever this is that you're wanting to release, it's the sense of you just want to you just want to be over it already. Whether it's, it's if it's pain that you're still enduring from past circumstances, a relationship, um, even with this Eight of Pentacles on the bottom, even you know with their finances or career. But whatever this is for you, there's a lack of patience with wanting to. It's like you want to be over it. You just want to be over this fucking situation. You want to be done. You want to be done. You don't want to think about it. You don't want to deal with it. You don't want to have to go through it anymore. You just want to release it. You're just tired of it. You're tired of it. But yet there's still this, there's still with the world in reverse, there's something that's not being released. And are you looking within yourself to see why am I still caught in this hole? This is like Groundhog's Day for me, knowing that I need to release something, but yet I keep reliving these feelings, these thoughts, these emotions, you know, these circumstances every day, despite wanting to release it, it's wishful thinking. Nine of Cups, right? Wishful thinking. But there's no practical action being put in place here. Now to break down these cards, Page of Swords in reverse to the Knight of Swords in reverse. There's some form of, how can I put this? It's like you have a form of insight on something, right? Whether it's through doing your due diligence, whether it's finding out information or gathering information about something, there's some sense of you, you know, you have insight in regards to the situation. You absolutely do. You absolutely know what can fulfill you, what can bring you the emotional happiness that you desire and that you want. And for some people, if it is a relationship, you may not be talking to this person with the Knight of Swords, this person that you may want. And if it's not the case, if it's not in regards to the person, it's like you may be feeling out of whack because what you're wanting isn't really coming in yet or you're not getting... You're not getting additional clarity or information on what you're wanting, right? So say, for example, if this is in regards to a work position, because again, we have the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom, or finances, it's like you're awaiting, awaiting news or wanting news. You've already done your research. You've done your due diligence. This is something that you want, and you're just waiting to hear back on if this will work for you. Knight of Swords in reverse, you're not hearing that information, or you're not getting the clarity that you really need yet. You're not getting the clarity on something that you want or you desire. However, you know it's what you want. You've already researched, you already looked into it, you know what you want, whether it's externally doing research or it's internally soul searching and researching within, taking account of everything that you've been through and what you want and what you do not want. That's that internal research, right? Really going through everything you've been through really understanding what makes you happy, what brings you fulfillment, what brings you joy. But the judgment card is here. And this is a, this is a struggle. struggle. Struggling to listen to the divine. The divine, is, and this goes back to this fucking time. Oh my God. I'm sorry, I just get a little antsy when it's like the cards are connecting. The divine is trying to tell you it's trying to tell you, it's trying to blow the horns, it's trying to make the judgment call for you. It's trying to make judgment on what you need and what we, what judgment, what the universe wants to send you to or wants to take you to or wants to place you at. If that makes sense, I'm hoping I'm making sense. 
the divine is trying to course correct you, whether it's in love, whether it's in life or whether it's in your finances. But there's a struggle to really trust in the divine. There's a struggle to really listen to the divine. Yes, you may follow the divine, you follow spirit, this and that. But in regards to this specific situation, this specific situation, you're struggling to hear out the divine. And that's why this tower is coming down because you're still stuck in a loop in regards to how you're feeling about somebody emotionally, not releasing those feelings, not letting it go, still holding on to maybe somebody's sharp words or what somebody said to you or how somebody treated you or how somebody handled you. If they mishandled you, you're still holding on to it despite not wanting to. Despite, because I feel it here, you don't want to. You don't want to hold on to these words or these emotions or the things that they've told you, but you're still holding on to it. And you're not allowing the universe to make judgment on fully releasing this from you. There's prosperity here in the release. There's self-fulfillment here in the release. But because there's a struggle for you to listen to it, this tower is coming in to release it. So why is the end of a tough cycle here for my Capricorns? Oh, shoot, Lord. Way too many. Way too many. Why is the end of a tough cycle here for my Capricorns? I don't know if I'm just tuned in to you guys or what, but I feel like literally the past three or four readings that I've done for you guys have been a continuous storyline. Literally. Go back. Go back to the... It starts with the... Um, oops, sorry. Too many... It starts with the um, you versus them Capricorn read and then watch the videos from there. I will tell you, it's literally like a continuous storyline. I don't know if I'm just the vessel for Capricorns, you know, but. Oh, yeah, this. OK, this is about a person. This is about a person. Now, for some of you, it can be about career finances. So if it is just, you know, try to play certain things where it would fit for your career finances. But this, with this six of cups being the first card out on the end of a tough, the end of a tough cycle approaches. This is about a person. This is a release of a person that you're still energetically holding on to. Because that tower card with all that lightning hitting, hitting it, I'm just seeing all the energy on it. Because it's, it's an old building, you know, it's an old condemned type tower, you know. So I feel like any emotions or feelings that you have for this person aren't really aren't really alive, they're, you know, pretty much dead or they're dying. But energetically, there's still a link between you and this person from your past. We got the six of cups in reverse. This person that you have negative feelings towards, negative emotions towards, that you really just want to let go and have victory over. We got the six of cups in the reverse, but the six of wands in the upright here. You're going to have victory over this. Whether you like it or not, because the tower is coming in to tear all this shit down for you, Capricorn. Excuse my language. Um, sorry, I, I have a sailor's mouth. I, I don't mean any harm. Okay. Just grew up like that. So please, please excuse that. So let's see. One more card for the end of a tough cycle approaches for my Capricorns. And it's definitely could have to do with. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love when spirit talks to me. I love it. I love it. Capricorn, this is a beautiful reading because you will overcome. You absolutely will. This Again, we have the Empress here. So this could be your wife or child's mother, or this can be your husband, child's father, somebody that you dated, you were in a relationship with. But this is somebody that you were with, right? Somebody that you were with. Somebody who you thought at one time things may have really went the distance or you could have saw this go in the distance or you try to make things go the distance, but it just didn't work. And there's still an energetic cord or cable still attached to this person despite you wanting it to be there. And you're in the thick of this tower coming down. This tower right now, Capricorn, what's happening for you is that because you didn't cut the energetic cords all the way, there's still a part of you that still holds on to this person, not in the sense of wanting them back, not with the Six of Cups here. You don't want this person back, not with the Six of Cups here. But it's still, you're holding on to the negative memories the negative thoughts, the things that they put you through, the experiences that they put you through, whether this could have been, you know, them behaving certain in certain ways or treating you in certain ways, or, you know, they may have gaslit you. They may have projected how they felt about themselves onto you or actions that they were doing onto you. Or this could be the sense of, you know, pettiness within the connection or bickering or, 
you know, tit for tat, whatever it may be, because we do have this page of swords here, which is a very juvenile energy. Whatever the case may be, you don't want this person, but you can't energetically let this person go. End of a tough cycle approaches, though. It does show you will have victory over the six of wands and the upright, seven of swords in reverse. You're releasing any lying, deceptive behavior, any sneakery, any trickery, any foul play within a connection. And you're absolutely sure you're not planning. You're not planning any future with this person. You're not planning a direction, you know, in regards to this connection, in regards to the situation. Again, this can be finances or, you know, family, just switch it how you see it fit, you know. But with the two of wands, there is no future here. There is no planning here. You are absolutely certain that you don't want to deal with anybody who lies, cheats, and sneaks around, who takes from you, who may have used you, who may have abused you, who may have manipulated you, who may have put you down, who may have belittled you. And I'm getting that a lot here. Belittled. Somebody was very belittled within a connection. I'm hearing the name David. I don't know why I'm hearing the name David. And somebody's name starts with a T, as in like Thomas or Troy or Trevor. I don't know. If it doesn't resonate, don't take it. But I'm just hearing those names. But there's success over this. But the issue is here, this is why you're in the thick of it. Nine of Swords in the upright. You're still in your head about this. This, this energy right here is the single sole reason why you still have this energetic cord. You're still attached. It's mental. It's not, it's not the emotional. It's not the physical. It's the mental. It's needing to release these pains, these, these feelings, because a new start is coming. Trust me, luck is on your side. A new start is coming. You have it into a tough cycle. There is prosperity that lies ahead for you. I definitely see that with the six of wands here. But Cappies, Y'all always get, you know, I'm not crying. Look, y'all not getting me crying again. I'm, no, <laughs> no, y'all are not about to get me crying again. I'm tired of crying on these videos. Just because I feel, I feel it so strongly though. I feel it so strongly because it's like, you want to so badly just let this go. But you can't. So since this is more love related, I'm just going to pull a couple of epiphany cards and see what we get in regards to the situation. Because this definitely feels like you in a person. It definitely feels like you in a person. So spirit guides, one card at a time for my Capricorns in regards to the situation. In regards to my Capricorns. Okay, we got two. Planning for the future. Travel is good for the soul. So some of you may need to get out. Travel, even travel around your town. Go traveling, go somewhere. Maybe you guys are already planning to travel somewhere or go somewhere. You may have already made plans, but it's planning for the future without this person. Planning for the future without the energetic cords still attached. What does your future look like when you can finally release that drowning feeling? Once you can finally get out of being in the thick of it, what does Capricorn's life look like after, right? Because sometimes we can be so engulfed. And let me read this to you. These scars and wounds run deep, right? I wish would focus. These scars and wounds run deep. Sometimes we can get so used to being in our mind in regards to how somebody treated us or the pain we felt or the experiences that they almost become a part of ourselves or they can also morph into a character trait, right? If you will, I've seen that. I've had that happen to me. And it's needing to be able to release that what does life look like once you release the pain that you've always known, once you release the hurt that you've always dealt with, whether it's in this connection or multiple connections or just in life? What happens? What does life look like when that's when that's really out of your system? Do you know? And if you do know, are you planning for your future based on that energy? Planning for your future based on what you want and not what you don't want, right? Because when you plan on what you don't want, you still carry that negative energy with you towards the future. Now, I'm not saying not to forget what you, you know, what you've been through. Of course, remember, but plan for the future positively instead of planning in reverse where you're planning negatively. <laughs> Resurrection. This ain't dead. Right. So for some of you, this person may try to show their face back up. Show their face back up. 
I say to each his own, if you want to deal with this or not, but this new start that's coming is not with this person. That's why this tower is coming down. You're not, this is something that you need to release because it's been keeping you stuck in a space that you don't need to be. Capricorns, even though you're an earth sign, you're very steady. You need movement. You're a mountain goat, you know? You're a cardinal sign. You take action. You're the leader. You're the father of the zodiac, whether you're a woman or not, you know? You're the father of the zodiac. You have to release this, right? So if this person comes back again, you make the smart choice for yourself because we do have the six of cups here, even though it's in reverse, which can still talk about returns. Um, too many. Um, you have to make that correct decision for yourself. We also have the healing heart chakra. What I tell you about what you need to release. That's where those energetic cords are. I don't think you have emotions for this person as you once did, but the mental and the emotional here in the heart, there's still an energetic link. And that link is not a positive one. It's removing or needing to release any anger, any upset that you have towards this person. Needing to heal your heart chakra, right? Because you need to plan for the future. There's big shit coming for you. Ooh, way too many. Wow, but I just looked at that card. Healing from heartbreak. And that's the one that caught my eye. I wasn't even going to take it, but healing from heartbreak. Yeah. You are. Aren't you, Capricorn? I love you so much. I love y'all. I just do. I love you guys so much. You're healing from a heartbreak, and I can feel it. But again, those cords, y'all not cutting them cords now. So now the universe is like, all right, I'm stepping in. There's too many cycles of you and this person. There's been too many back and forth. There's been too many emotional ups and downs, too many emotional um, upsets within this connection. There's been too much, too much turbulence. It's been Groundhog's Day for you. Groundhog's Day for you. Now it's being released, right? It's being released. And if you already released this person, there's still energetic cords that may be rooted in anger or upset or disappointment that now the universe is going to release for you. May I have one last card spirit for my Capricorns? I'm so proud of you. I just wish I can hug all of y'all. I'm just so proud. I'm just so proud because no matter how difficult this may seem or feel, the fact that you know what needs to be done, you know what needs to be done. Let me get one more. We got lurking in the shadows. So this person can still be keeping an eye out on you, watching you, observing you. Because again, this is coming up right underneath resurrection. One last card, Spirit. But it shouldn't matter. Go forth. Go forth, Capricorn. You're there. You know what you need to do. I don't feel like I'm telling you guys anything new. Not based, not, not based on the readings I've been doing for you guys. I'm not telling you anything, nothing new. Anything, nothing new. And I think that's maybe why Spirit is reiterating these messages for me. And we're going to leave it right there. I feel like that's why spirit keeps reiterating these messages for me to tell you, especially within these readings, is because I know you want to release this connection or this energy or the situation, but there's still energetic cords, right? But back to the good old times. That this goes back to planning for the future. Getting back to feeling like yourself, feeling good, feeling free, not feeling energetically weighed down by something that just wasn't meant, that just was not intended. Something that was intended for you to learn your lessons and then continue forth, but not to stay in that energy, even if you guys are separated or not together. The negative energy got to be swept out too. You got to, the house that was built, all of it got to come down. All of it has to come down and everything needs to be swept, uh, swept off the land. And there's still debris on the land that hasn't been swept. And Spirit is saying, if you're not going to sweep Capricorn, I'm going to sweep all this shit up for you. And that's what's happening with this tower. Okay, so let me see. We have 30 minutes. I'm not going to keep you guys too long, but I am going to pull a romance angel card because we have a new start is coming. So spirit guides, angels, ancestors, tell me about this new start. Tell me about this new start that's coming. For my Capricorns. 
Okay, and one more. Thank you. I love it. I love it. There is absolutely no star coming for you. This is the message to you, and I'm going to leave this with you, Capricorn. We have pay attention to the red flags, and you deserve love, right? You definitely, I'm sure, saw red flags within this connection, within the situation. But even right now, even with you being removed from the connection, whether you are still in contact with this person or it's no contact anymore, the fact that you know you need to release this situation energetically and you're not doing that, this is more so telling me from spirit that, hey, listen to your intuition. Pay attention to the red flags. If you know you need to release something and you're not doing it, but you're still feeling way down, feeling like you're in the thick of it, feeling like you're drowning, listen to those flags, Capricorn, and course correct because you deserve love. You deserve somebody who is going to love you and that new start is coming, but this has to be, all of this has to be swept out. It's time to do some spring cleaning, right? Right? That's what it is. Some spring cleaning, Capricorns. I love you to pieces. I fucking love you. I'm so sorry. Excuse my language. <laughs> I love y'all the pieces. I'm going to wrap this up. Um, I am going to give you guys a bonus. And I might even do an extended for you guys. I'll I'll post about that if I do an extended. but Because I want to get into this new love. Because I feel something coming in for you. So, all right, Capricorn. Bye.